And thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halach. And these are brand new Halacha for you. And it's for Friday, 23rd day of uh, March, 7th day of Nisan. That means we're getting quite close to Pesach. A few things that you need to know. First of all, this Shabbos, it's going to be Shabbos Hagadol. As we explained to you a couple days ago, what that doesn't drastically change your Shabbos. We're not even going to take out an extra Torah. We're just going to read a special Haftorah uh, that talks about the Yom Hagadol Vahanoro, the great day. Uh, referring to eventually our redemption um, and Mashiach and all that good stuff. But, um, but but other than that, one other halacha that you need to know for Shabbos Haggadah is that you should um, try to read the Haggadah um, on Shabbos afternoon. That's what we. That's the custom of what we do on the afternoon of Shabbos Haggadah, according to most rabbis. You read from the part where it says Avadim Hayinu. Uh, we were slaves. That's uh, right where it says Magid in your Haggadah. And then you continue until that paragraph after Dayenu. And that basically tells the story of uh, of the exodus from Mitzrayim and from Egypt. And that's what you should plan to read uh, sometime on Shabbos afternoon. Now, over to the topic of selling your chametz. Um, if you plan to keep chametz, and I'm talking about uh, real chametz, like Cheerios, pretzels, bread, liquors, and things of the sort. Um, some people have the custom to sell that. Some people have the custom to just get rid of it. If you are selling it, of course, the reason to sell it is because you're not allowed to own chametz on Pesach. And any chametz that you own on Pesach, you're not allowed to benefit from at all after Pesach is over. So uh, that's why you might want to sell, especially if you got some expensive stuff. You might want to take care of that so that you won't be violating any prohibition of owning chametz. And also you'll be allowed to use your chametz after Pesach. Next very important thing that I need to tell you is don't try to do this on your own. Um, it is best that you do this through a rabbi who knows what he's doing, making sure that the sale is valid and you really technically do not own your chametz during that time. And he arranges it with uh, some rabbis act as kind of like a shaliach, a messenger, and they arrange that through some other rabbi that's selling a whole conglomerate of people's chametz, or he, he might just sell it directly himself. But if you try to do it yourself with a non-Jew that you own, you might uh, do the transaction improperly, and then technically you own your chametz, and then technically your chametz will be prohibited from your use after Pesach, and you don't want to get into that mess. So do go to a good, competent, orthodox rabbi to arrange for the sale of your chametz. Have a great Shabbos and log on again after Shabbos for more. Bye-bye.